Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Electron JS video tutorial, we will learn what is web contents, how we can import and use them and we will see some examples of some important events of web content. And this is my Instagram account if you just uh, want to join me there. So first of all, let's uh, the start with what is web content. So web content is basically a event emitter. That means it will provide some event to us to use for them right and uh, this is basically responsible for uh, render and control our output output of what there is a two kind of output one is basically for our main process second for the web pages that means even just yes, these are the web pages like html page and all so it will just render and control the output of our web pages right and this provides some events like when our content is ready how we can just check some key press and how we can just check uh, some click events and all right so now let's see that how we can import it and use it so there is a two way to import first thing you can just directly import from here like uh, web contents secondly you can just do it uh, from here just take a variable uh, let wc that means web content and just write here win dot uh, web contents all right and uh, after that you can just simply use the event like wc dot on right and let's say i just want to check that when our dom is ready so just write here dom ready and after that you can take a second parameter here for as an event and let me just make some console dot one or console dot log like uh, app is ready now right so now let's see whenever we can just get it so just right here npm run watch and uh, let's just uh, give me a moment and whenever our application is ready uh, then we can just got this console right so there is a one more uh, event and which is very similar to the dom ready but i will tell you the what is the difference in both of, both of them uh, which is uh, uh, did finish load did finish load right but there is a minor difference in both of these events uh, which is dom ready will be all, uh, automatically fired when our dom is ready but did finish load will be fired when our complete html and dom will be ready right so uh, let me just show you some example even the you cannot find uh, much difference in a small application but when we have a large amount of content large amount of data then we can easily identify but still i will try right so let's just open a, a index.html and uh, just add a image here image src like this and uh, now you can see that we have an image here so now let's uh, save this content here and let's change this message uh, app loading is finished right and just remove it from here for a moment from extra text and now let's uh, just refresh this application once with the control r or command r right so now you can see that first we got a uh, app is ready but whenever our complete dom with the some text and image is downloaded then app loading uh, console we got here because did finish load event is fired here right so let's say i just want to open a one window here and i want i just need a uh, one more event for that right for that you can just simply do one thing just right here new window and uh, just right here some text like uh, new window is open right you can this event you can use this event whenever your a new child window is open so let me just make a child window uh, some link for open a child window just right here target ah, sorry for that and just right here minus hyphen blank and after that just uh, 
simply open this and uh, we can just simply write here like a uh, uh, open image here right and now let's reload it and now you will find that whenever we will just uh, load me once more but I just need to add here href right my bad again okay so whenever we will click on this link and a small child window will be open then we will just get uh, this event right so now let's see now you can see that uh, I actually just misspell this event I have to write here open window and let's try once again after new window just uh, let's click on here and uh, you will just find a event here now you can see that we get the new window opened here let's try it once more because uh, I think you did not watch it properly in a first attempt let's click here once more and now you can see that new window is open here again right so with that way we can just take an event for that so let's say no, now you just want to check that uh, how we can just check that any key is pressed or not right so for that we have uh, one more event and we just we can say it simply before input event just right here before input event and uh, you can just write here some text like uh, some input event is called right or something even we have a parameter here also you can just write here x then you can find uh, many properties inside it and uh, now let's uh, just try to press an event here let's say i am just going to press here some any keys now you can see that there is a lots of event right and we got this so whenever we just have uh, we will just uh, press an event we will just get this text and after that if you need some more functions and all then you can get it from here right let's try it once more i'm just going to press here some event like m then we just call here two events why two events uh, no, this event is actually called two time because once it will just call whenever we just press the key and again whenever it, it will call whenever we just uh, key up the event right so that's why it's it called two times if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box thanks for watching this video